Hi everyone, today we are talking about the ability to make an organic production label claim in Canada and I don't want to go through what is organic agriculture. I'm going to assume that there are other resources out there. I really want to focus on how do you make a label claim on a packaged food product. So let's jump right in here. So we are going to understand the types of organic production label claims permitted in Canada. We'll define the burden of evidence required for organic production label claims and we'll review the guide to food labeling for industry for further interpretation because that is the source for information related to food labeling and advertising in Canada. And again, I remind people, this it's a fluid resource that uh, it's constantly changing. And that's why I want people to get used to going to the Guide to Food Labeling for Industry to find the most up-to-date information every single time. So just a reminder, it is, it's, it's out there. It's easy to find on the internet. And Oh yeah, I know you're going to say I'm sick of this, but honestly, this is so important. No, uh, From the Food and Drugs Act, no person shall advertise any food, drug, cosmetic, or device to the general public as a treatment, preventive, or cure for any of the diseases, disorders, or abnormal physical states. And the uh, natural and organic food industries have had a bit of a um, reputation for going out and saying organic food is better for your health. It's going to promote all of this health and wellness. And as a food product developer as a food manufacturer, you can't be out making those sorts of statements. What people say on their personal blogs or on um, magazine websites is different from what you can say as a legal entity um, producing a uh, regulated food product in Canada. And so you can't be out there saying organic food is um, healthier and is going to promote your well-being. You, it's just not allowed. And you just can't do it as a food manufacturer. And last but not least, the other statement that I always say is from the Food and Drugs Act, Section 5, no person shall label, package, treat, process, sell, or advertise any food in a manner that is false, misleading, or deceptive, or is likely to create an erroneous impression regarding its character, value, quantity, composition, merit, or safety. And again, why do I repeat this one? Well, I, um, I have seen recalls of food products. They would be a class 3 recall because it's not going to cause harm to uh, human health, but I have seen recalls where companies have said, oh yeah, my product is organic, and meanwhile it is not. And you can't be out there misleading the public about the nature of your food product and applying labels that have a regulated status. And in the case of organic, it is a highly regulated status. And we'll jump into that in just a moment. So in Canada, we have the Canada Organic Standard, and it is regulated under the Safe Food for Canadians Regulation Section 13. And there's a whole code of practice, and I'm not going to go into that because today we're talking about labeling. Um, but I highly recommend that you look for more resources and, hey, maybe I'll make some videos on this in a at a future time. Um, the Canada Organic Standard is the Canadian Food Inspection Agency's um, uh, standard for ensuring that food products are organic. Now that said, there are other organic standards that are uh, very common in Canada. EcoCert just happens to be one and the United States Department of Agriculture USDA, USDA organic standard is also very frequently seen because again, the US is our largest uh, global trading partner. There are other articulation agreements with uh, organic standards in other jurisdictions. But these are the, the three most common that you will see in Canada on products. So now in Canada, uh, there are really only three types of label claims that can be made with respect to organic products. And one is organic, one is made with X percent. I say X, um, X can mean a number between 70 and 95 percent. And so you're saying, well, how do I measure that? Well, you have likely watched the video on how to do uh, formulation documentation. And so as you're preparing that um, formulation, you would know what percentage of the ingredients uh, in your final product came from organic ingredients and in organic inputs. And you can also uh, state organic within an ingredient declaration, but you can't label your product as organic unless it meets that threshold of either greater than 95% or the bracket 70 to 95%. So to make the claim substantiation, 
you must be audited by a CFIA approved certification body. So there are different organizations out there. Uh, I mentioned already EcoCert is one of those certification bodies. Um, there are other ones out there that will come in and do a um, inspection and a review of your documentation practices. And within your production, it's not just that, well, if I've gone out to a supplier and bought all of the organic ingredients and mix them together in my facility, I can label my product as organic. No, you as the manufacturer have to be certified as organic because it's not just the ingredients. There are other aspects to the Canada Organic Standard, which do include um, use of processing aids, the types of sanitation chemicals, which you can and can't be using. These are also investigated as part of that certification process. And so as such, you can't just go and combine um, organic ingredients that you have sourced within your facility and slap them together and then put an organic uh, label on your product, you do have to make sure that your facility is also compliant. So that's that's uh, sort of it in, in a nutshell, but uh, imported product must comply with the equivalency agreements with the CFIA. And so in some cases, depending on the situation, you will send out third-party auditors to your um, to your producer's overseas to have those certifications be from a North American standard. And in other cases, there are direct articulations and you would need to investigate with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency what is the current status on those articulations between global organic standards. Now, third-party endorsement. Now, this implies that uh, if you are using the organic label, that you are not giving an impression that your product is healthier or um, better than products that do not have that brand la that brand logo. It it can't be out there in a, in sort of a bragging type form. You can't give an impression that use of this that the use of the organic logo is a is a, a part of a treatment or prevention of disease. Now, oh, I think I stole the slide from a previous one, but you can have organic candy. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of weird and wacky, but you can. Um, you do have to have clear information on your product standard. Now, to make an organic claim, it must be 95% greater content organic ingredients. Now, if it's a single ingredient thing like, I don't know, a pineapple or a tomato, you you would assume it's 100%, but you can't you can't make the statement 100% organic. It you can just state organic, and that implies the greater than 95%. If you have a multi-ingredient product and it has an ingredient declaration, then you must indicate organic related to each ingredient in some form. Now, I've seen it where they will go along and label each ingredient with the word organic, and I've also seen it where they'll use asterisks, and and uh, that asterisk then at the end is a footnote saying organic or meets uh, organic standard, um, something to that effect. Now, um, if, the product, if the product is subject to the Safe Food for Canadians regulation, then the product if it is meeting this organic standard, must bear the logo of the certification body. So if it is that Canada organic, it has to have that on the on the on the label. If it is EcoCert, it would have EcoCert on the label. USDA, you would have that symbol on the product. And that is part of the organic claim. Now you can have a made with X percent organic ingredients claim. And so on the label you must state 70 to 95 percent organic ingredients and so you can you have to have that it, there are very particular font and um, you can't for example make the word organic larger than the rest of the font in the statement made with x percent organic ingredients each organic ingredient in the list has to have organic with the with the ingredient declaration in a clear and use, useful manner you cannot use the certification body graphic logo, but you have to write its name on your label in some location. So you can't have the symbol saying USDA organic, but you can write and you, you must write certified USDA organic on the text of your label. You can't make any other claims with respect to it's 100% organic or 100% organic this or that. You can't say certified organic on your package because it is implied already that it's certified organic. You 
you can't state anything about made with organic ingredients unless it's in that 70 to 95% range. So you can't say made with 30% organic ingredients. If you have one minor organic ingredient, you can list it as organic so-and-so, organic bananas or organic cinnamon or whatever on your ingredient declaration, but you cannot say anything on the front of label with respect to organic for that product. Again, the guide to food labeling for industry is our best resource. And then let's just jump right out. And again, I don't edit at this point because I'm just so busy making products. Oh, this is actually the Safe Food for Canadians Regulation Section 13. And the laws are available for you. You can you can go and look these up. It's it's pardon me, it's not difficult to find the Canadian regulations and just start reading them. And I realize they're not necessarily the most exciting reading. It's a good thing to put you to sleep at night, but if you are going to be working in organic food manufacture, it's it's not a long read. And the more you get to know those regulations and get used to looking them up, the easier it's going to be for you to find stuff. There's our organic symbol. Did I not? Oh, you know what? I didn't leave the web page open. What is this? Good production practices for cannabis products. Ah, that's a different video that I'm doing right now. So guide to food labeling for industry. It's not hard to find food labeling for industry. Food labeling for industry, there we go. And we are in the claims and statements and we are on the organic tab. I noticed this AI chat box is coming up now. It's a virtual assistant and I, um, the folks at the Canadian Food Inspection Agency have appreciated all of the work that I've done to help uh, small business out. They do encourage you to um, connect with them through their uh, virtual assistant and their connect with the uh, CFIA website to help find more information. So organic, under this tab, we've got all these wonderful claims about what you can and can't say and the Canada Organic Regime. So the Canada Organic Regime is that, is that symbol that we saw before, imported organic products. We've got listed there, permitted claims. We can, we can talk about the organic claim, which is that 95% organic or more. And you can then have to um, have the symbol of, of the certification body on the product. You can have um, uh, multi-ingredient claims. In terms of the less than 70% organic claim, you can only list the ingredient within the ingredient declaration and you cannot state anything about organic or per contains percent organic ingredients on that product. The language requirements, again, it is it had, does have to be bilingual. If it's bulk, it can be embedded into a price lookup sticker or other symbol or tag. Non-permitted claims, you can't say 100% organic, you can't say certified organic because everything is assumed to be certified. You can't say made with organic ingredients unless it complies with that 70 to 95%. And they do regulate the use of the of the logo. And we talked about that from a tr the trademarking pr perspective as well. So you, you can't be using it unless it is appropriately defined and used, used properly. Um, so... I think that's, I think we're just about done that section. Oh, wow, we are. And my time is just about up here. But again, uh, I can't stress this enough. As, as a food manufacturer, you do need to make sure that you are not just out there slapping labels on food products because they seem trendy. Um, in the case of organic, it is one where lots of companies have, have come to me as well. I'm, I'm making it using... Um, organic type principles and are like, are you certified? Are you, are you ensuring that you are following the certification requirements? And they're like, well, no, that's, that's expensive. That's hard. Like if you want to have the benefit of being able to make the label claim, you have to go through the additional certification requirements to fulfill that. So it's, if we, if there are resources out there to help you and I'm trying to in improve the accessibility of those resources for you. Um, but you have to, in the end, do the work. And so make sure to ask good questions as you're going along and find the resources so that you can succeed at uh, creating interesting and good products with appropriate label claims on them. All right. Ask questions and we'll talk to you again real soon.